Hey everybody, this is Kai, your Ranting Gamer, and this video is on how to get a ROM slash emulator on your phone. Um, I got the original Android from Verizon, but I do know it works on other sm smartphones. Um, it doesn't work for Blackberry Storms, unfortunately. My brother's already tried. So, going on my Android, as you can see, I already got a few games here. I got Game Boy Color. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, um, Sega Genesis, and the Game Gear, Sega Game Gear. Um, essentially what you're going to do is go to your market. If you want to download it for free, and, you know, and you're going to play a game that doesn't require saving, this is a good thing for you to watch. So pretty much all you're going to do is go in your um, market is type in emulator. Sorry, my phone's sort of slow because I got too much crap on it, but, um... Ooh, okay. Retry. It's like every time I go to make a video with this phone, it just decides not to cooperate. Ah, there we go. As you can see, the general ones, if you want to play Sage games, all it costs is $3.99 to download. Which, is, to me, is sort of a rip-off because you could download it for free on your computer and it's safe just fine. So if you, um, ooh, they got a PlayStation emulator now? Huh, I should try that one out soon. Um, I'm trying to find a good example here. Alright, here we go. If it says lights, not that you can see my screen, because, you know, this fucking camera can't focus when I get too close but when it says light on it that means it's the version where you can play everything for free on it it is for free but you can't save your games me I oop. I actually bought the um, Game Boy um, one so I could actually save my games but somebody came out with a free um, Game Boy Advance version where you could save your games for free on it. Which is pretty cool. So you might get lucky and find one of those. So I gotta actually save my Game Boy Advance games. It's not that great. It sort of lags and it's choppy a bit, but it's cool. And there's other, um, p other people's versions on here on emulators and ROMs, but I recommend downloading the light ones, but if you want to mess around with the other ones, that's pretty much all you got to do. So, after installing um, the games, I mean the games, the systems, people would ask how to get the games on here. Well, let me tell you. Um, you could try and download it directly to your phone, but it kind of doesn't help the fact that they're all zip files, and you have to download a zip opener on your um, phone. So what you're going to do is, pretty much what I do is, hold on, let me put my camera down here. I don't know what I do with my wire here, but here it is, I think. Essentially, you're just going to plug your phone into your computer. If you have an Android, I'm not sure how it works with other ones. If you have wires like this that directly go to your computer, and you have an SD card connected to your phone, you can also do just connect the SD card in. What's going to happen is it's going to connect to my computer. Just scroll down. If you have an Android phone like mine, just mount it into your computer. Open in as a folder. Go to, go to DCIM, that's your SD card, create your own little folder, label it ROMs, that's what I did, and you just put all your games in here. Now, where do you get your games? Pretty much from any old ROM website. As you can see, I have a ROMulation folder on my computer, and all you do is just drag and drop your games right in here. And after that's done, just click it off, unplug your phone, 
and you'd be able to play games on your phone. I should have done an example with me putting um, a game in, but... Hold on a second. And that's how she died. And essentially, that's how you get um, ROMs and emulators on your phone. Um, nothing much to it. Um, I've had other friends with different kind of smartphones other than mine actually get this to work. So if you have a marketplace on your phone, go ahead and try. I'm, as far as I know, it doesn't work for the BlackBerry Storms. Um, because my brother has tried and he has a BlackBerry Storm. And if, as far as I know, um, iPhones could actually do this too. Um, except they could, they, since they have a higher processing speed, they could actually do N64 emulators as far as I know. So I'm not sure how this phone's going to handle a PlayStation emulator, so I'm going to have to go fiddle around with that and see if my phone could actually handle it. So this is Kyle, your Gamer, and that's how you get, um, freaking, um, emulators on your phone.